was the key secret for me in really working out how to build consistency and get a flow state with journaling every day. Hello, I'm Henry Bluefield and welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna run through my journey, experience with journaling over the last six months, a year. And it's something that if you have tried journaling and don't find it's really worked out for you or you're struggling with it at the moment or you've just, you've got the idea but you're not really sure if you wanna give it a go, Hopefully this will be some really helpful tips for you so that you can dive into it with a bit more clarity and find some alternative ways that it can work really well for you to help you get clarity of mind and just think about your thinking. But stick around to the end because I'm gonna go through some alternative ideas you may not have thought about that could really spark some inspiration for you with journaling to help you really get along the way, especially if you are struggling and it's something you've tried and you just can't get into the rhythm of it. And I've been there, I've tried different methods of journaling and I was really stuck at the start and really didn't like it, whereas now I've found something that really works for me and is absolutely amazing. So stick around, and obviously if it is amazing for you, make sure to hit like on the video and subscribe to the channel to get plenty more videos just like this one. So I've tried journaling over the years in different ways. Originally, I did start with an actual journal where I was writing down by hand with a pen. You can do that as well. If it, if it works for you, that's brilliant. I'm just gonna run through like my own experience. So I was, handwriting and I didn't really get along with it. I wasn't really sure, I hadn't really looked into it and while I was growing, this was like when I was building my business, the first started out in business. It was infrequent as well. I don't recall actually doing it on a daily basis, having this daily practice of it. And a lot of it would just be when I was having conversations with people really like annotating notes and turning that into kind of like a journal, so to speak, which was really helpful and it helps you retain some information. But when I tried to turn it into a daily practice, especially like handwriting, I really struggled with it. Then I found that I quickly just gave up. And also I found that I got like writer's block a lot of the time with journaling when I was doing it in this way. But as I said, just quickly after a not long, I did actually give up. Fast forward a few months, I went through, I think I tried at different times, I just write stuff down, but then I started journaling in like September last year, I started journaling on my Mac, just in my notes, I've just got this tab with what I've been journaling about each day, and I just started to try and do a daily practice. Because one of the key problems, this is what has been like a huge leap in actually being able to retain something regular and consistent in journaling. Secret here was, when I was doing it, before, I was doing it at the start of the day. I think having a fixed time of day to do it would be really good and will help you if you are struggling to get some consistency. So if you've got that time of day that you dedicate, I find start of day, end of day are the easiest times that you can dedicate because in the middle it can just go anywhere. But one problem I found personally with at the start of the day was that I would wake up and kind of be like, right, well, what am I journaling about? And this applied also when I started applying gratitude to my journaling. I wanted to have a daily gratitude practice of like, come up with a few things, three things, whatever, that I'm grateful for that day. And I had the same mental block when I did it at the start of the day. I'd wake up in the morning, I'm grateful for a nice warm bed, I'm grateful for this house I live in that keeps me warm, I'm grateful for the food that I'm about to eat for breakfast. The next day I wake up, I'm grateful for four walls to live in, I'm grateful for... And it just became so repetitive. Whereas when I flipped to the end of the day, as I said, this was the key secret for me in really working out how to build consistency and get a flow state with journaling every day. By doing it at the end of the day, especially when I'm really focusing on developing new skills and learning, I had so much to reflect on that day. I was just pumping out so much, so much writing, so many ideas, and also found the more I journaled, the better my mind got at understanding what to write about. And I found that I would just have time throughout the day where I'd be like, oh, I'm excited to journal about this. And I actually got really excited towards the end of the day, being like, oh, I can't wait to sit down and annotate this, really dive into analyzing what the situation is and how it shows my development. So that has been really helpful. So key, if you are struggling with it, try journaling at the end of the day, just so you can reflect on what you've done. And also you can start to apply a bit of structure to it. You can get, obviously like those journal books or whatever, or gratitude journals and such, where it is very structured for you. A friend of mine I had a conversation with, they have a, I suppose it's a gratitude journal, but it's just, a structured journal where it has like various questions for each day like what have you most enjoyed about today what are you grateful for today what is your biggest challenge all these things whereas I've always done it with no structure whatsoever so then I've just written down whatever's come to my mind but I did start introducing some structure when I moved on to my laptop one thing I started introducing quite early on was a highlight of the day I would just literally put one thing that was a highlight of the day and then start going into my mind or I might dive into that a bit deeper when I'm writing Later, I introduced gratitude again. As I said, I'd explored gratitude initially at, when I was trying to do it at the start of the day, it didn't really work. When I started exploring it at the end of the day, I found I could really tailor it to that day specifically. As I said, like waking up in the morning, I'm like, oh, warm bed. Whereas at the end of the day, I found there was so much specific to the day, like there was something someone helped me out. I 
went to grab a meal deal and was short and someone at the store was like, oh, it's all right. I, his, I know it's just short, here's 50p or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I'm so grateful for that opportunity or so grateful for that person. Or if I'm out skating, filming, land a trick, I'm like, oh, I'm so grateful for skateboarding and being able to actually go out, have these friends and make these connections. Or if I go to some art gallery randomly, oh, I'm so grateful for that experience. I was able to explore so much and just find that I was having better quality gratitude by writing down at the end of the day, especially compared to start. Another key component that helped me really improve my journey was when my own mindful journey began, I say, or when I really dived into my own sort of fulfillment and mindset on a day-to-day -day basis and becoming or exploring happiness. For example, when I started meditating, well, this all coincided at the same time really, so I like started journaling, started therapy, started meditating all around the same time and really like jumped up my yoga practice to do, really try and commit to five days a week. I may have been a bit lapsed before. I remember like, it was just before this time I got a really nice yoga mat. But the amalgam of all those things, which I've mentioned in videos before, just the amalgam of all of these things to really work on your mind really helped to improve my journaling as a whole. However, I did plateau and that's what I've realised now. I'm plateauing a lot and especially where I'm like creating content now, I'm making videos. I think it's just, it's so time consuming in terms of what I'm doing or because my routine has completely upturned and I've really moved from having this solid structure of like where I was growing my company and that was what I was doing every day to now it's completely flipped. I've got a lot of recreational time that I feel very quickly. So I'm doing very little in terms of like structured work, whereas I'm doing a lot of content creation, a lot of socialising, going out skateboarding all the time. And I just kind of try and jump on every opportunity regardless of what it is. If it's something to just spontaneously go to an art gallery in London that evening, I'm like, yeah, I'll jump on the train and I'll go straight there. If it's go skate... Like, I live in Kent and there's suddenly, oh, a few people are going to go skate in Essex this evening, do you want to come along? Yeah, perfect, I'll go along, don't get home until whatever time in the morning. But I'm trying to just absorb all of these opportunities and just seize each moment. So that does make it difficult to structure something into my day, especially if I'm getting home really late or really early in the morning. Like, to actually sit down and journal becomes a nightmare. Plus, I'm trying to read more. So I'm like, right, at the end of the day, I'm going to read. Plus, I've got some TV series that I'm really into in terms of, like, wanting to learn from. So I'm trying to like, absorb all of this. And when it comes to journaling, I suppose where I am creating content, I'm finding that I want to put it into videos more so than I do actually journaling, which is what I've started to do Like on my journal. Like for example, for this video, I've just got notes where I've reflected on journaling. So in my actual journal, I've put a load of notes down on journaling for this video on journaling. But the key really is sticking to it. And it's something that I would really recommend give it time, spend a few months before you really decide that it doesn't work for you or it's not really beneficial. Stick, form this habit a bit more, do it for a month, two months, three months, and then you really start to see whether or not it's working for you. And I'd be very surprised if it doesn't. But one thing, as I've mentioned, that really helped is if you are progressing, learning, studying towards something, because you can really reflect on your lessons, your own development. So as I said, when I, I started meditating, I started bumping up the frequency of which I was doing yoga, I started therapy, so I really had a lot to dive into with my mind at the end of each day. I could just reflect on my meditation that day, how did it work, did I, was I able to like switch off my mind, what was coming onto my mind, like all these things I can really focus on, my yoga practice, did I find that I'm struggling with poses or am I getting better, the more just in creating content, how am I finding it, building this channel and committing to it and trying to stay consistent, how is it all working, what challenges are in my mind. Which I've now got to a point, as I said, like where I'm keeping busy or my mind. I, haven't, I suppose I've come out of rhythm of what I'm doing. I need to find that new rhythm. So I'm my journaling. I've started to be lapsed on, which you can be as well. It's just like don't put so much pressure on yourself. Just enjoy it, and which is what I'm doing now. So it's just a case of I really need to journal this down, and I'm not putting so much pressure on myself. And often I just want to make a video. Which, as I say this, is one of the key things. I, I said at the start of the video, there's going to be some key alternative ideas to think on that you may not consider, and that is your definition of journaling. I, I suppose I've always been in my mind very fixated on single definitions or if something has a set of rules, <laughs> it's strange because on one hand I would completely ignore the rules and jump outside the box but with other things I've really wanted to stick to and if I've got a routine I like to have routine like with this YouTube channel I wanted to do a video a week then it was two videos a week and then all of a sudden I'm like I have to do a video every day and with journaling I start writing I'm like I have to write something every single day and then I'm like I introduce gratitudes and highlights I have to do my highlight I have to do my gratitudes every single day journaling hasn't got to be that hasn't got to have a structure for you I suppose the fundamental is exploring your mind seeing how you've progressed seeing what you've learned and if you do that through writing that's what works if you do it through blogging I'm still writing if you do it through vlogging if you do it through dictating onto your phone just recording yourself talk for a couple minutes each day 
whatever works for you. It can be in the form of poetry, it can be in the form of illustration in painting. It could be a dance. The key is to reflect on how your mind is going and then find a way to express what has worked for you and whatever your purpose to journey, whether it's to explore your new lessons, to try and retain information you're picking up, or if you've got problems going on that you really need to like dive into your mind and explore, they can be explored in different formats, in different matters, in different mediums, and especially like mix them up. It hasn't. If you decide, yeah, writing's what works for me, or videoing is what works for me, it doesn't mean you have to do it every day. It doesn't mean you have to do it every week. It doesn't mean it has to be the same thing every time. You could do a daily vlog, just recording yourself for two minutes. You haven't got a story. You haven't got to upload it. You've just got to do it. You can delete it afterwards. I mean, it's more helpful to keep it. But there's no reason that you can't just one day decide, you know what, I really just want to draw this, I just want to scream this out, whatever it is, I really want to write down actually today because I want to retain this information. You can mix it up. And I think one thing, if you're like me and you've had this struggle, is take the pressure off of it, but also really dive into your mind. Allow journaling, like we've all got problems, little hurdles we're trying to overcome, especially like in our own minds, mentally, emotionally, especially with like the last couple of years. Especially if you're going through like a paradigm shift of how your life is structured, which we all explored through lockdown. And I'm exploring, ironically, more so now than in lockdown with my, 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 with my lifestyle changing from like business owner, growing a company, to now being a content creator like pretty much all day, every day almost. <laughs> Journaling really helps to focus on that. And often you can find that when you have extreme days, it gives you the opportunity to really dive deep. If you have a really good day, if you have a really bad day. But I've also had the opposite where I've just had a really crap day and I just can't, don't want to be productive. I just want to like sit in a pit of sympathy, watch a movie, eat chocolate, and I just, on my channel, literally just write like, nope. <laughs> Might not write just nope, but you get the point. And that's fine to do. And you can explore, you can write War and Peace for your journal if you want. The great thing is, by doing this, it teaches you a huge skill, and that's writing. You start to you write consistently, or you're videoing consistently, whatever you're doing with it, you're going to benefit from it. In, it's going to compound over time, and it's going to give you so much. I think it will do a lot to boost your confidence. Like I made a video on confidence, I didn't mention this in it, but it's been a huge thing in terms of being able to speak more clearly, to think more clearly, to really dive into your mind, especially if you coincide with therapy, it can help so much. But the key thing, just to end this video, be comfortable with it, don't put pressure on yourself, and it's all around helping your own mindset. If it's not helping you, it may be frustrating at times, but just, I would say, stick with it, give it a bit of consistency, give it some time, a few months, and explore different mediums if it's not working after. Like, stick a month or two to one medium. If that doesn't work, start to mix it up a little bit. And I think, honestly, it really can work for anyone and everyone. So if you are stuck in a rut, like, leave a comment below. How long have you been journaling for? Has it been a problem for you? Have you never explored it? Do you want to explore it? Or if you haven't, why haven't you? There's no pressure. Just an idea, I hope it helps. And if it has helped, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, because there'll be plenty more videos around trading, investing, medit, 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 plenty more videos. Until the next one, bye.